guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the mid-year freak out. Um, I know I'm a bit late to it but here we go anyway. Uh, so the questions are there in front of me with little prompts to remind me of uh, the books I've read and stuff. So question number one is the best book you've read so far in 2022. Uh, I have two and uh, they'll have to be Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahorin and The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. Now I gave Serpent and Dove five stars but Adi LaRue only got four but uh, it was more of the ending of Adi LaRue that made me give it four stars. Otherwise I would have given it five if she could have ended up staying with the guy. Um, but the book, the authors are both new to me authors so I, I had no idea what to expect from either of them. Um, and question number two, best sequel you've read so far in 2022? I haven't actually read any sequels so far in 2022, but I did read Queen of Hearts by Alice LaRue. Um, that'll be this book here. Um, technically it's the first in the Wonderland series, but um, there are little novellas that go with the series, um, and I've read all of them. Um, and um, it, it was just the only thing I could think of that was a series. So, new re release you haven't read yet but want to. Run, Rose, Run by Dolly Parton. Um, I think the book came out at the end of last year, I think it was about November. I think I got it for my birthday in November. Um, so, it's not a 2022 release but it's a relatively new release for me and I'm really looking forward to reading it. I'm a huge Dolly Parton fan uh, and I've never read anything by James Patterson so it should be fun and I can't wait. Question number four, most anticipated release for the second half of this year? I have two again. Uh, one is Stealing Infinity by Alice in the Wild. Um, that's coming out in a couple of weeks, I think, it's, I think it's next week it's coming out over in the UK. I know it's already out in America, but I think it's only coming, it's only coming out here next week, I think, the end of next week. Um, and the third book in the System of Divine trilogy. Uh, technically it is already out in the UK, but um, I wanted the paperback to go with my other two paperbacks. Uh, so sun will rise is another one. Biggest disappointment? That would have to be Book of Night by Holly Rock. I've read Holly Rock before. Um, I did enjoy the book that I read. Uh, and I got this with my May Illuma Great Box. And I, I, the cover? Stunning. End papers? Okay signed, awesome, but the story, it, it just wasn't there for me. I, I read the synopsis, I thoroughly thought I was going to enjoy it, but no, I didn't, I really didn't. Um, biggest surprise, Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, the book surprised me because I'm not one for crime, horror, horror thrillers. Um, so I went into my little Facebook group, uh, my A Box of Stories Facebook group, and I was like, hey, is this, um, like a really scary thriller? Am I going to be terrified after reading it? Um, and I'm like, no, it, it'll be fine. It's a bit more disturbing rather than scary. Um, I read it in a couple of hours, and I have a, and now I've discovered a new genre. I probably still won't read that many thrillers because I'm more of a fantasy, young adult, sci-fi kind of person. But hey, there's, at least I know there are some thrillers that I might enjoy. Um, let's see, favourite new author in the debut or new to me? There's three of them, Colleen Hoover, Shelby Mahorian and V. Schwab. I only read one of their books. Um, so far this year, but I really enjoyed them and I can't wait to read 
the sequel to Serpent and Dove and I can't wait to see what else Colin Hoover has to offer or me Schwab has to offer um, that I might enjoy. Uh, newest fictional crush. I don't have one. Um, and if I did, I'd probably say Julian from Queen of Hearts, but then Rosie might kill me and cut out my heart. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just go with now. No. Um, newest favourite character. This has to be Rosie from Queen of Hearts, um, because she's a total badass and she doesn't care about all the colour and the that she's causing for anybody. She, uh, she just goes around and kills people, cuts the hearts out and sends them to her enemy, which is fun. It's, it's a really good read. You should try it. Book that made you cry. Billy's Story, Louise Allen. Um, I read it as a, an art. Um, now, I'm not a big crier when it comes to books. I've cried at three books. Charlotte's Web, um, My Sister's Keeper, and Billy's Story. Um, but this story, it was so heartbreaking what happened to that poor child that I was in tears at the end and I was like, seriously, this can't happen. Not to you, not even, not this day and age, but unfortunately it does. Um, book that made you happy. Again, Queen of Hearts by Alice LaRue. I'm not sure what made me happy about it. It might be because I knew what was going to happen because I've read novellas and the full story Queen of Hearts that came out in May was a short novella which was extended into um, a full length novel so I'm not sure if it was because of having read the novellas that go with the series and the Queen of Hearts novella or if it was purely because I love how Alice gave me everything I wanted from Rosie's side of her, the story I'm probably going to say that it was probably Alice giving me what I wanted really and question 12, most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received? Uh, I have two. I have Daughter from the Dark by Marina and Sergi Deachenko. I think that's how you say it. Um, this came in my July A Box of Stories book. Um, the cover art is just stunning and it... <laughs> It almost puts some of the fairy loot and the Lumicrate books to shame. This is gorgeous, is a bit plain. Um, and then I would have to say my fairy loot edition of Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weather, which I can't wait to read. Look at this, it's so pretty. Um, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? I have many books that I need to read in life, not just by the end of the year, but I've picked five. So I want to read Run, Rose, Run by Dolly Parton and James Patterson. Um, I want to start on the Systems Divine Trilogy by Jessica Brody. Um, this is book one and two. Um, I want to read The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna. I hope I said that right. Um, Cursed by Thomas Wheeler. Um, I really enjoyed the TV show series and I'm kind of sad that it got cancelled. Um, I also need to read The Bone Thief by Alison Noel. Um, I love anything Alison Noel and and then Jessica Brewery. So if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought of them. Um, and leave me a comment below on what your favourite book of the year so far is and what your least favourite book of the year is so far. Um, and if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. And I will see you in another video.
Bye.